Alrighty here we go, this is the scariest thing I've ever experienced. I'm out camping with some buddies up in North England, fog and stereotypical I know but bear with me. There's about four of us, Mark, me, Lucas and James. We haven't really been camping before, in all honesty. Took us three hours to set up three tents because we have no clue what to do. Our car is about a 20 minute walk down a dirt path, not really far but trees make it hard to see it really, this will be important later. James forgot to bring firewood so we sent him out with an axe to get some, he's pretty strong, goes to the gym pretty often. Mark goes with him. So they head off into the woods towards a clearing we spotted whilst walking about a while ago searching for a good spot to set up. We didn't choose that spot as we had no trees to prevent rain from drenching the tents and fire. It rains like hell, in England. I'll count if anyone's interested. So Mark and James are out collecting firewood. It's just me and Lucas chilling, drinking etc. About an hour later Mark and James come back. They don't have the axe. I ask where James put it, as he was the one holding it when they walked away. He asks Mark the same thing. Mark asks him. Lucas points it out, it's leaning against a tree not 3 meters away. It looks weird, like a glitch texture in a game. Kind of blurred if you get what I mean. Brush it off, Mark picks it up and it just looks normal so I don't bring it up. Nothing really happens, we go to bed early due to lack of fire to sit around. We had all four tents set up by now. I wake up in the night for no reason. Literally fog all, quiet ass all buggery. As if sounds have been muted. Honest to god I couldn't hear myself clap or talk, I checked. Worried for my hearing I go back to sleep, see if I'm okay in the morning. James wakes me up. The fog were you clapping at, Anon. Oh I temporarily lost my hearing. I'm not surprised, we were up until 4 around a campfire and you kept screaming and laughing at it. We didn't have a fire last night though. Yeah we did. Facking remains of a fire outside in the middle of the tents. It's kinda warm, recently put out. I'm actually scared at this point, I can't reason with the situation, no oh I was tired bullshit. So I just sit down, try to process this all. Mark, James, and Lucas all talking. They notice me kind of sitting there. Mark asks what's up. We didn't have a fackin' fire last night. What? There is no fire. I know. James chimes in here. There was a fire, you guys sat by it with me last night. Lucas also chimes in. No we fackin' didn't. All three of us do not remember a fire. James insists there was a fire. He gets kinda mad, and goes back into his tent. Me, Mark and Lucas leave him to chill. We head out to that clearing earlier. Lucas heads back to the car to get a pocket knife. He wants to do some carving and stuff. He likes sharpening sticks and shit. We watch him go down the path. We only see his head after a while because the trees block out his body. He ducks under a low branch. He doesn't come back up. We just go to the clearing, assuming he just kept low to not hit his head or something. We get there and Lucas is back in there. He was 10 minutes away, we were 3 minutes from the clearing. How the fuck K did you get here so fast? Anon, I've been walking with you since we left camp. We just watched you fucking leave to go to the car. No you didn't. Mark speaks up in a kind of whisper. Anon, that's not Lucas, look. He kind of tilts his head towards the path to the car. Lucas is fucking by the car, we see his head inside it, he's looking for his pocket knife. Whatever is stood with us sees Lucas too. It throws its head back and opens his mouth. Emits this high pitched sound like a dog whistle, but for humans. Collapse due to its loudness. Vision going white as fuck. Sound won't stop. Wake up back at camp. Mark, Lucas, and James all there, around a fire. Mark asks if I'm okay. 
What the fuck was that thing? What was what? That thing that knocked us out. Anon, me and you walked out to the clearing and you passed out, I brought you back. At this point I require new pants because I've officially pissed myself. I'm at the brink of tears. This is messing with my head and I'm a bit of a pussy. Go into tent and sleep. Try at least. Just lay there for a while. Once again, trying to process this shit. Hours pass. Felt like minutes to me. Once again, all sound stops, even Mark, James and Lucas talking outside. Poke my head out of the tent. See them moving, as if talking, laughing etc. Duck my head back in. Same high pitched sound that thing in the clearing made but not as loud. Doesn't hurt me this time. I'm shifting enough bricks to build a four bedroom house at this point. Lay down and let everything pass. Sound fades off, as if it was walking away. Regain hearing. Sounds like a tent being opened hurriedly. James is practically ripping my tent open. Anon get the fuck up we're leaving now. Stand up but kinda weakish, overwhelmed by all this shite, trying to rationalize. Mark and Lucas are combat sprinting to the fucking car. James has my arm around him and we're shuffling as fast as possible to the car. James what the fuck is going on? Anon shut the fuck up, it'll hear us. I'm on the verge of tears, like I said, I'm a pussy. We get to the car after around 17 minutes of shuffling. Mark and Lucas already in it, cars running. They motion for us to get in. I'm in the back seat with James at my side. Mark is driving, Lucas in the passenger seat. Mark backing floors it along this dirt roadish kind of thing that leads to a highway, about 10 minutes from the campgrounds. Look out back window, out of paranoia and to reassure myself we're not being followed. I see this kind of amalgamation of us four. It's face made up of our faces. This thing's face is our four faces kinda melted together. Vision goes white, like I just got flash banged or some shite. Whatever this thing is it didn't want to be seen in this state. High pitched sound, causing agony. Got a massive headache from it. Anyway, Mark is fucking flooring it away from the site and we get to the highway. Every now and then my vision will blur like fuck. Think it's following us. High pitched sound hasn't stopped, just not loud enough to hurt anymore. Hear it the whole ride home. Mark wants slow down. Empty as fuck highway, so he just speeds. I swear I see this thing following the car, by the tree lean at the side of the highway. Facing the car, kind of sliding across the floor, like if a video game character's walking animations broke, and stopped working. Every time I see it, high pitched sound increases in volume until I look away and vision goes white after 2 seconds of staring. Eventually stop seeing it 3 miles from home. Never go back. Ever. Stop talking to James after that, lost contact with him. Mark doesn't talk much, when he does he stutters. Lucas is pretty chill. I'm still scared as fuck about this, it was about two years ago. I don't go outside much anymore Dsu. Whole thing fact us, mentally, but yeah, believe me or not, this happened and my mental state ain't as stable as it used to be as a result. Fakin typing this is almost giving me a panic attack. That's all guys, hope you enjoyed my traumatic encounter. James story is as follows. At the camp, around the time my hearing cut out, and after I ducked my head back into my tent. An hour passes. They see the thing I saw off in the woods. Sliding at Mach 9 towards a fox grabs the fox and rips its chest open, eats the thing there and then, bones and all. They go quiet. It spots them and slides off into the woods. He's fucking shaking at this point. They spot it again, two minutes later, staring and twitching like fuck. He swears they heard a low gurgling sound, like its throat was full of a thick liquid, like tar. It slides off again after letting out a loud screech that I didn't hear for some reason. He rips my tent open, grabs me. 
He carried me to the car, I was out cold. He's scared as shite. Trying to sprint but be quiet as fuck. Mark and Lucas way ahead. He looks back and this thing is at out camp, inside my fucking tent. Gets to the car. Throws me in and gets in beside me. I wake up after we get to the highway, scream, and pass out again. Repeat for an hour. Wake up, look at him, make a gurgling sound like that thing made and passed out again. This scared him enough to not want to talk to me for a long ass time. He thought it possessed me. Anyway, we get home, Mark drops him at his house and he stays there, getting family and friends to buy food for him and he pays them the money. Refused to leave his house. He was in therapy for a while. I call him a long ass time after this. Here we are. I'll try to contact Mark and Lucas, see if they'll talk too.